Welcome, welcome everybody to the, well, what is this, hold on, hold on, the mid-season finale of Roller Games. Yes, it's the mid-season finale of Roller Games, which means there will be a slight hiatus of Roller Games to make room for newer content. But don't worry, we will not give up on Roller Games, because just like Beyond Belief Factor Fiction, it will be in the normal rotation once we finally get Season 3 of our normal programming back in order but don't worry don't worry we, we are we are fully followed up we, we will still embrace roller games and it still will pop up every now and then but this is this is the big one this is kind of the big one right now I believe it is the T the T birds versus get this hot flash all right two teams that weren't doing so good they lost both their first games this year I believe so. Actually, no, they, they won. They, they won against the Maniacs. No, they won against Bad Attitude, which is Georgia Haas' uh, group. And, uh, yeah, and if you're not familiar with what was going on last time on the uh, beloved franchise known as Roller Games, uh, last time uh, Georgia Haas, who is uh, the known baddie or heel of the franchise, was uh, threatening to... Oh, wow, she was starting to do a lot of shit, which, uh, let's just get real, and for, uh, uh, where do I fucking begin, to be honest? Where do I fucking begin? Alright, well, first off, she was trying to split up the T-Bird twins, which are, like, iconic twins, and also double men twins, if you look up on them on the IMDB, which is kind of a big deal. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're iconic twins, they've never been split up, she wants to break them up and... Send them off to the two savage heel teams, which, uh, who really gives a shit, right? Then you got, uh, Ralphie Valadares, which is an iconic member of the T-Birds. Founder, coach, leader, icon, also father of, uh, I forgot what the fuck her name is. Uh, pretty much his daughter. They have a legacy. It's great. It's wonderful. You know, hail Ralphie. Well, she wants, since Ralphie's in the Hall of Fame, pretty much they're, big, they're digging up old bylaws that are... Just fucking ridiculous. Not only that, poor the the hot flash coach. I, I don't remember the, the guy looks like a a, a gay sailor. I, I, not to be mean, but that's just kind of the vibe I get. He rocks it well. I love it. But apparently, she's even trying to de, you know deport him from the franchise because he's not born American, which that is a no no rule. That is a not cool rule. But on that note, yeah, that, that's where we are with uh. Well, wow, there's a lot of politics for a game about roller skates. That's all I gotta fucking say. <coughs> but we're not done. <coughs> I'm not done. On top of that, with this whole franchise, there's a huge, huge up debate about the beloved roller gator. And if you're not familiar with the roller gator, the roller gator is the tiebreaker event. If the event were to go into a tie, they would have to whip out the roller skaters and wrestle in the pit to see who has to be taken on by the roller gator. <sighs> That's a lot. That is a lot for these smoke-filled lungs to say. That's all I gotta fucking say. But, um, yeah, and apparently uh, some people believe it's unethical. Some people believe it's exploitive. Some people believe it's just stupid. Some people believe it's rigged. Some people believe that this whole sport isn't even real, and it's just a fucking manifest that I created in my disassociative state. But, it doesn't matter what you believe, because tonight is... You guessed it, the mid-season finale. And I, I'm, 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 I'm flabbergasted. Ward man, how the fuck are you doing this evening? I'm, I'm glad you showed up this evening. I can't believe. Oh yeah, talking about the animal, the gator tamer. Fucking wackadoo, man. But all in all, I, I'm in good spirits this evening. I know we are late, but also, if you're not up to watch the stream. You're not cool enough to be in the club, all right? If you're not old enough to sit and actually watch this and get your, sit your lame ass, you know, have your lame ass wake up at 7.30 to watch fucking Bluey or some shit because that's more suitable to you because you're not cool enough to, you know, to smoke cigarettes and do kick flips with us. You can't. You know, you think you're listening to Alien Ant Farm as hard as us? No, no, man. Shit. Sheesh! Am I am I right? Dogs? 
That hurt to say all of that. I'm just gonna be real, but okay. We're we're all we're all here. Aliens are real. Bible Man's still dead. Beyond Belief apparently is still running with new episodes in Germany and also is following SAG restrictions and is open to keep making new episodes, so that's good news. I just gotta get a hold of the fucking German shit. Yeah, cool guy shit. We smoke with cigarettes and do kickflips. Before stream today, I literally sat through a whole series called Do a Kickflip, where uh, Eric Costin, the pro skateboarder, goes around telling people to do a kickflip, and if they do a kickflip, he gives them free shit. It's a great series. If you haven't watched it after the stream, go check that shit out. We need to meet Frank Stewart. I need to, at least before he passes away. I, I have so much shit I need him to sign. I have so much shit I need him to sign. <laughs> But on that note, this would be the normally the point where I'd be able to run an ad, but due to Twitch restrictions, I'm not going to be able to run my ad. But if you do want to help a boy out, I can't verbally talk about my sponsors because that's more of a YouTube thing. But I can self-promote, and if you look on my LinkedIn page over the About Me thing, there's a bunch of cool opportunities how you can help support me by either joining uh, the Instagram or becoming a subscriber on YouTube or buying some of the merch in the store. Do that shit. By the way, hit up the merch store because it is limited time. That shit will be shut the fuck down. That's right. If you want those prints, you better fucking get them now because once we start opening up our store, all that shit will be debunked. That's right. That style of uh, goopy shirts, the fucking... Uh, the the horror pinups of that style. Yeah, that's the only way you can get them is to order them then in that way. So, yeah. If you want to help out your boy and help a little bit of funding up in the video store before we look at weird niche media, that would be the way to help me out. But on that note, let's dive into the Rota Games. Wow, we're already here. We're already here. Start that game. No gamer drink. Good God, this volume's loud. I can't wait for Scary Grandma. Oh, dude, you're right. We'll know if it's filmed on it. All right, this is literally. Why are they sending Tammy to the Gators? Rock, rock, rock and roll the game. Rock, rock, rock and roll the game. Rock, rock, rock and roll the game. <sighs> the world champion T-Birds against Hot Flash, which should be an underdog, but which might benefit from the mental turmoil that the T-Birds are facing. Hello again, oh, everyone, from the back. Super Roller Dome with David Sams. This is Chuck Super Roller Dome. asking what seems to be the weekly question, now what? Mental turmoil it is, Chuck. The bottom line is, these T-Birds don't know if they're coming or going. Georgia Haas may be successful at splitting up the T-Bird twins and banning Who? Ralphie from the track. We'll keep our eyes and ears tuned to halftime or perhaps... No, Tammy, not the gator. Through the tunnel and into the arena comes Hot Flash. Well, this team is triumph of style over substance, of glamour over grit. And I'll tell you, Chuck, they are sure pretty in pink. Well, and there is their manager. Uh-huh, there he is again. Lopez, gregarious one. Well, he's the straw that stirs the drink, a millionaire many times over. He's the quintessential definition of the ultimate Why? party animal. <laughs> he says Fucking hot flash. Step in the right direction. Apparently, they're the stars it's of the video game. They're like one of the main David stars of the official... Experienced in this sport. Which, by the way, the video game is actually a street brawler. <laughs> but they sure look good. As does trackside Ooh. reporter Shelly James. What is he doing? Stop that. That's assault. Thunderbirds. America's team. I want a movie starring Jamie Foxx about this team. Well, their honorable history can be 
face back some 30 years, but yeah, most likely. She probably does talk like that all the time. Oh, fuck. And this man, Ralphie Valadares, the living legend. Well, Chuck, it looks as though he may have to hang up his skates for good because that scum like how every team has a theme song. Boo! She says that if he is to enter the Hall of Fame, that he can no longer be an active skater, and that would be devastating to the T-Birds. Well, that's the off-the-track update. Now tonight on the track, David, who are you going to be watching most closely? I can't wait to see the two greats on the wall of death, the two emerging rookies of the year. Cass okay, Mick. That's, that's Cass and Stars and Stripes. Quickly now, the rules of this sport. Four I can't even say that name. It's so dumb. On the track at any one time. The whistle by referee Don Lastra begins a 45-second scoring cycle, and only the guys... We gang for real? What the fuck, score. man? That's funny as shit, but what the, the fuck? Jetway. That's yep. Kahuna, Jerry Reese, and Matt Bickham, Stars and Stripes. Stars and Stripes! They both oh, got a six-point line on the wall of death. They both got two on the jet jump. Now they'll try to get individual points by passing individual opponents. Stars and Stripes trying to get around Iceman Harold Caldwell. Kahuna trying to catch up. And by passing all those pink jerseys and tapping his helmet, Stars and Stripes stops the cycle early and prevents Kahuna from scoring. Oh, come on. oh what the fuck? Oh, God. How do you do that? That's anti American, that kind of a play. That's Kahuna working That's on That's anti American. Stars and Stripes. Stars and Stripes, the all American kid. Chuck, you know, he is so wonderful. He actually brings 25 kids to every game at his expense. And there's the T Bird line. I thought it was 29. Last there. show you said Stars it was 29. Number four, Icebox, no, right no and not course, murder. The anchor <laughs> is Ralphie Valadares, the living legend. Well, you saw Juan Valdez Lopez ogling our Shelly Jameson. He has a way of turning the infield into a tailgate party. He is watching his lead jetter, Hot Wheels, Billy Marshall, get two on the wall of death, as does Speedy Gonzalez behind him. Both men get Good question. Two on the jump. Speedy winds up. Because we know this is all filmed on the same night. Earlier, like, so did they just, like, remove four Speedy fucking Gonzalez kids? Is passing those pink jerseys and getting the single oh. points. Pretty boy Ben Newberg is teetering on the rail. And look at Speedy Whoa. go underneath. Oh. He stops the cycle as Kahuna's attempted flying hit block misses by a mile. And Speedy celebrates. The Kahuna's throwing a so this is two face teams going against each other. That's kind of weird. T-Birds are creaming them, though. Substantial lead for the T-Birds. And here they go. It is a night in the life of roller games. Kahuna and Stars and Stripes. Let me guess, Don Lastward's words. Come on, boys, break it up. <laughs> Come on, boys. One of the less enviable tasks in the sport, there's Stars and Stripes. Hails from the San Francisco Bay Area. We're not sure where that guy hails from. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> All right. what you do? You Everyone's a heel if they're not in front. That's true, that's true. <laughs> be happy, be happy. And he is. He has a new jetter. It is pretty boy Ben Newberg. He is to be the black a jetter. The head of Dynamite Daryl Davis, the little five foot four guy who, like the jetter ahead of him, gets two on the wall of death and another deuce for each. Come on, come Dynamite. This guy's a champ, man. Oh, no. Pretty boy, but it didn't work. Number two is Billy Bob Bibbis. He is the rear blocker trying to hold back pretty boy. Come on, man. Focus on the jetter. Focus on the Bob fucking jetter, dumbass. Excellent rear blocker. There Help he your guy out. Man, Harold Caldwell ahead of him, and then back to Pretty Boy, and then a head dice man, and then a back again to Pretty Boy. Oh, the there you go. He's clearing house, and his Jenner, Dynamite Dale, didn't even get back on the track. There he is, just now reaching. Here's a look at the hot flash starting lineup, led by the boss man, Kahuna, from Hawaii, the former college halfback, and Cass McEntee, <laughs> nicknamed oh, after the legendary cowboy, Butch Cassidy. Well, look at him go, as we will show you again how the scoring is done. Why? You get six points if you take three big strides above the top line, two between the first and the second. And on the jump, What's with these stupid factoids, though? Marker, Ooh. It's six points, behind it two points, and if you land safely, you also get two. Oh, it's the, the big freeze. For the hot pink of hot flash. I guarantee it's all filmed the same day, man. The gap as the whistle begins a new second second cycle. We are still in the first period here in the Super Roller Dome. I'm starting the to notice trash that was there from the last video. Back in the fourth. 
lead jetter in the pink is Kahuna. Jerry Reese behind him, Speedy Gonzalez. Two how long do you think? How long in the event do you think till Georgia Halls comes out? I just want to know. I give it about 15 more minutes before shriveled up old ass shows up, looking like George Jones' mummy. Oh, Hogan, here goes Ralphie. Woo! Get him, Ralphie. There's the block. Oh! And the cycle stops, but again, Hot Flash advances and now trails the T-Birds by only five. Uh, Chuck, I just noticed you give it a five. The the Fair. And is now give it about. I guess still give it about 15 uh, minutes. We'll get a few comments from him in just a second, but there you see, Ralphie Valadere is the living legend. He is now at the center of controversy and possibly at the end of his career. Because Ms. Georgia Hyde yeah, there's a lot of hype. Yep. Oh, there you the go. Bam. For good. This is, in all likelihood, the final cycle of the first period. The Jetters are Kahuna, his third in a row. Does he have enough legs to get up the wall? He's got to be tired. Woo! And look at Stars and Stripes. Damn, dude, they both did that shit. Oh, fuck. He maxes out. Rear blocking by the ice box. Oh, damn. Come on, come on, come on. Pink jerseys. Trying to get around the ice. Get past Rick James. That ice box is immovable, isn't he? 357 pounds worth. Kahuna can't get past him, so he just kind of deposits his head on the rail. <laughs> Sleeper. Meanwhile, Stars and Stripes cutting in and out, getting around past McEntee and rolling him to the concrete. Under three seconds left in the cycle, a final whip, but he'll get no more points. It was a good one, and that will indeed conclude the first period as Stars and it's Stripes. It's so 1990. And Agreed. Again, for the second time Why does he keep strangling him? What the fuck? Throw the boss man Kahuna to the penalty pod. That's just way too much. Yes, put him in the cardboard box. Whoa. Boy, boy, boys. What do we got here? Looks like we got ourselves another cameo from scary granny what did i tell you boys and look at there there's kansas city hat man creepy baby and stoned little boy just like i said last time same exact scenario creepy old lady standing with her hips wearing the same old tattered fucking jc penny's collection with that shit that shit look at all that i feel like we've done this before Keep in mind, this is the fourth episode. This is the fourth fucking time we came across this. This is literally all filmed on the same fucking day. I, I, there is no excuse after this point. Yeah, by mean, but no, yeah, no, no. I'm not going to indulge. This, this woman, there's something about sheer hatred in this woman. Every time I see her, I have nightmares. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, here's a woman who agrees. Well, Shelly has just interviewed the commissioner and... Soon we'll find out the outcome on the big controversy. Will Ralphie Valadares have This woman is so far the only star of roller games. Is that creepy ass split? grandma? Let's find out from the commissioner. I've assigned a special blue ribbon panel to do an in-depth study, and they must have that study and the final decision on my desk within 30 days for the league to vote on. However, in the meantime, I have the stipulations as have to be carried out. The first thing is the T-Bird team is on probation and banned from TV games for 30 days. No. Number two, what? Ralphie is suspended from further skating activity. And what? number three, the T-Bird twins will be separated and report to the maniacs and the violators who drafted them as individuals in the first place. Now, Shelley, I'd just like to point out, these rulings are temporary pending the okay. receipt of the final blue ribbon panel report. I hope that they get it to us right away so that we can get this thing over. No, 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 you can't do Hold up. Well, hold up. Back to the video store. Can we, can we go back to the video store? Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck? That came out of nowhere. In this anime, that, that that's actually... What the fuck, dude? Docbot, what are you doing? You're supposed to be dead. Docbot here. Remember, folks, every follow means a yummy treat for the cat. 
It's cats now. There's fucking six of them. Oh god, yeah, there is. Uh, but no, there's actually seven. There's actually seven cats. Jesus fucking Christ. By the way, we got black cats if anybody wants any. They're beautiful, they're cute, they're little kittens, and uh, yeah. If you're in the Candle Cove area and you're interested, yeah, we got black cats. Okay. Um, that, that, was, that was a lot of news, man. That, that was... So wait, what are they going to do with the game? That's pretty much how we feed them at this point. Dude, our house is so bad. Like, uh, as soon as you walk in, it just smells like kitten. And it's just, you know, like, that smell. They're adorable, though. But, ugh, God, I can't wait to have normalcy. But back to roller games. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. So what are they going to do? Or it's like... Does Ralphie instantly have to get off the court, and does the twins instantly have to leave? And also, what do they mean 30 days? Like, 30 days roller game days? Like, on syndication? Or are we going to find out within, like, 30 episodes? What the fuck? How's that going to change the outcome? Will, will the gator return? What... I'm lost. Whoa! Watch the decision to get reversed. While he's mad at somebody. Hold on. Yeah, I forgot to swap over. Bam, here we go. We're, re we're, re yeah. Here we are. No, 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 you can't do that, Chuck. Well, ultimately it'll be decided by the managers. And those three on the top are generally against Ralphie and the Twins, and those on the bottom are four. Oh, that's anti-American. You cannot split up the Twins in this poor Yeah, there you go. The Boom. Legend. He cannot hang up his skates. This game will never be the same. With the ladies coming up next. So, like, I don't know. What are they going to do? By 15. You'll also hear from Wally George. He's mad at somebody. And Yay, Wally. Actually, Wally's a terrible person. Roller games. We're back in the dome. Fire and lightning off the track and on it. There go the women of the T-Birds and Hot Flash. Hot Flash trails the T-Birds by 15. Jetting in this first 45 second scoring. Wait, the twins are still playing though. Gonzalez getting a whip from Jennifer Van Gelder, who is one of the principals in the controversy. Gogo gets two points on the wall, so does Irish Mary Monahan behind her, and they both get two on the jet jump, and now they go for the individual points. So is it after this game? Twins, Jennifer Van Gelder and her sister Christine, they've been together since the very beginning, since day one, since hour one, since second one, and now Georgia Haas is trying to split them up and send them to the maniacs and the violators, and it would just be disgusting, Chuck. Look at the rear blocking by electric Randy Whitman. Like, what do you think they're going to do to them? They're just a roller derby team. Grow up. Here's a look at that T-Bird lineup. And as you see there, electric Randy. Remember when she was still a Jetter? I do. As a T-Bird. There is electric Randy, a veteran radiant skater and part of the grudge to watch tonight. Yeah, keep an eye on the beautiful. That's Irish Mary right there and Electric Randy. Two beauties. Irish Mary looks like dog shit. Not to be mean, but she kind of does. That was a terrible photo. The pixelation on her face was so fucking bad. Sassy Gina Valadares. Two each on the wall of death and over the jump. None for McCorkle because she goes down. Gina Valadares does get two. Gina, that's what it is. Upon rear blocker, Skinny Minnie. And she'll play it cautious. Skinny Minnie is an excellent rear blocker. And also, rapidly becoming, I think, David, a national favorite. She sure is. This crowd absolutely loves her. 
She's received probably more fan mail. Well, no, I think Dar, the star of the Rockers, uh, has received the most fan mail so far. But Skinny Minnie is close behind. Skinny Minnie gets cleared out of the way, so Gina there is able to get a few more points for her hot wow. match. Gina Valadares, number three, the daughter Gina of the legend. And if Georgia Haas has her way, it looks as though Gina Valadares may be the only Valadares remaining on the track. And that would be a big blow to this sport. Not that Gina isn't good. Dude, she imagine like you're playing against your dad's team, right? And you're playing on the night that he gets like he's forced daughter. retired. I just don't see imagine that mental fuck, stage. man. I can't see it. This I guess this is all like I don't know. That's still pretty. That's pretty fucking heavy, man. By 11, so hot flash is pulling closer. Electric Randy Whitman getting a whip and heading for the wall of death, and right behind her is Lightning Laura Stafford. Two each on the wall, likewise Damn. on the now Electric Randy is laying back, I think keeping an eye out for Lightning Laura. Yep, there's a block, oh. and Lightning Laura not ready for it, goes over the rail, down to the concrete. She would be the only valid there is. Oh, my God. The human fence of Irish Mary and Sassy Gina. On a second try, she can't get through, and if she ever does, she'll get a couple of quick points. Dude, I want Third the merch for this oh. shit. Yes. We gotta bring this shit back. This Randy shit's fun. Accomplished dancer in ballet and jazz. Could have joined ice capades as an ice skater. Tremendous talent, Electric Randy Whitman. And oh my Chuck, if they lose those two twins, the pressure is gonna be on Electric Randy to, well, really deliver twice as much power out there on the track because this T-Bird women team will be down to four women. Yep. And you normally need a few on the infield just to give each other a bit of a physical breather. We're in the second period. It's Irish. Oh, damn. Randy's a... No way. It's... Gina Go -Go Gonzalez up the wall. They each get above the two-point line on the wall. They get two on the jump. Irish Mary oh. nailing Go Go. And look at her go. Trying now to catch up to the power guards. Past the red, white, and blue jerseys. The rear blocker is Skinny Minnie. Can she get around her? Skinny Minnie holds her and is wrestling. Wow, still no sign of Georgia. On that block oh. and Skinny Minnie nearly loses her stomach as she hits the rail. Under five Especially seconds. after those weird claims of last week. Ah. Irish Mary. Majoring in child psychology. Irish Mary looks like that chick. Right really? She's not skating. There she is. Look at the bench. Party Patty Frazier, Pretty Boy, Billy Marshall, the Iceman's number one, so is Cass, and there's Kahuna. Oh my God, flock of seagulls for That's real. Hot flash, super stylish, blow-dried warriors, and Chuck, they are putting up a good fight tonight against the T-Birds. There in the pink hair is Sly Fox, Vicky McEwen, and there are the twins, enjoying a happy moment, despite all that's swirling about them. That's Jennifer on your left, Honestly, Christine on your right. Yeah. I think she stayed healthy enough to keep her bones and shit in order. I would hope so. I would hope she can still like walk and shit. But I would also at the same time I wouldn't be surprised if the years of doing this shit did cause damage. She skins the cat and gets right back on the track rather than falling to the concrete below. Electric Randy. Oh shit, Electric Randy's a jetter? In order to reach those pink jerseys and pass them. Somebody needs to throw a block. This looks more like a marathon race. I'm surprised they're not trying to trade her off again. Gina oh. Valadares is railed. Look at Randy go as another and still another. Fuck yeah. Knocked off stride. And in the final seconds, Electric Randy widens the gap for her T-Birds as we have reached the end of the second period. Stay with us. Why Pretty good cinematography. I'll give him that. He's real man. <laughs> I just read the chat. That's funny. God damn. Oh god, it's Wally. Alright, Wally, don't say nothing too fucked up this time, alright? Wally George here at Rollers Sports Central. Well, it seems impossible, but the living legend, Ralphie Valadares, may have to hang up his skates forever if he's to make it into the Hall of Fame. And the T-Bird twins may also have to give up their skating and return to their former waitressing jobs. 
It's all up to the big league vote. The six teams that believe that now control the destiny of Ralphie and the Twins. Right now, the vote is three for and three against. Joining us live via satellite are Guru Drew, Skull, and <laughs> Ms. Georgia Haas, the unholy three who would like to ban oh, God. the nine T-Bird skaters. How, wait, Georgia, hold on. How in the world could you 18 minutes in. First of all, again, it is Ms. Georgia Haas. We only need one more vote. And between Juan Valdez Lopez and DJ Trignal, we will get that vote. Now, wait a minute. I can't believe that you three have nothing better to do with your time than to cause trouble. You haven't seen anything. Fit check. Okay, what we got here? We got wannabe Rob Halford from fucking Judas Priest wearing a Motorhead shirt, which I think is even funnier. This guy is trying too hard. What's with the Palmia? Do you got some brothers overseas that you never got back? Fuck this guy. And this guy looks like the guy who took his brothers overseas. That's the only way I'm going to touch that joke. No more, no less. Oh, God. Miss Georgia Haas. There ain't nothing I can say about you that I haven't said about a chronic yeast infection. Ugh, you're terrible. You're so terrible. When is Vince McMahon going to try to buy the roller game? I don't know. Can he do... Can Vince McMahon buy the fucking roller games? Does he have any fucking executive control over the WWE right now? Or whatever the fuck they want to call it? Yeah. Yeah, fuck these guys. He's got, uh, I like how they try to hide as much skull iconography and shit around to make them seem edgy. They're not edgy. They're just sad. And also, that's a Grateful Dead uh, skull up there, so it's not really edgy. It's just kind of soft boy, hippie shit. <sighs> Alright. Anything yet, fella. We will cause as much trouble. Guru as Drew. Said, right, Man, guys? We you, will we cause the all kinds There's of no trouble because we will cause Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We get out of here. <coughs> enough is enough. Get out of here. Take a hike. And now it's time for my roller beat. Okay. Maybe this is no. Oh, God. He's going to bitch about the alligator again. I got to re. I gotta get out of here. Enough is enough. Get out of here. Enough Take is enough. Hike. And now it's time for my roller beat. Okay, maybe this is no big thing, but when I go to a live sporting event, be it baseball, football, or roller games, I want the traditional American junk food that I knew and loved as a kid. I'm talking about what the fuck? a hot dog in this hand, a soda pop in this hand, and a bag of peanuts in my lap. Man, I'll tell you, that's living. But not at the Super Rodeo. You should see the kind of stuff that they sell there. Frozen daiquiris, nachos, goat cheese pizza. Come on. And get this. Why is he Fishy. hating? My little son, Fuck you, Wally. Wally George, asked me what sushi was, and I told him it was raw fish wrapped in seaweed. Suddenly, he looked like a traffic light turning red, yellow, and then green. Hey, look, if hot dogs, peanuts, and soda pop were good enough for my dad, they're good enough for me and my son. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for the McNasty beef. Okay, Wally over here seems to have a problem with nachos and also seems to have a fucking problem with sushi. Wally is what you called uncultured swine, okay? He doesn't understand that we're not hating on the lap full of peanuts. We're not hating on the fist full of glizzy. We're not hating on the, the container full of fucking Dr. Peppy. No, no, what we're hating on is your fucking ignorance to other cultures and foods, Wally. So why don't you do us a favor and roll our games and fucking piss off, and now I'm going to take over this segment because you're pieces of shit. So, Wally, you know what? You need to just get the fuck out of here, Wally. No more. I'm tired of your sexist fucking bigotry. Get the fuck out, Wally. Here's the guy who can only afford one jacket, DC Ketchel. 
<laughs> yeah. Down to Kokomo. Down to Kansas City. Fuck Wally. The guy who can only afford one jacket. Rock, rock. Same fat kids as last time. Okay, quick little pause. Um, I can tell they weren't really planning on people ever taping this and rewatching and noticing that this is the same roller games thing from like literally episode fucking one. The same fucking stoner dudes, because that guy's actually one of the band members of Warrant. Uh, oh god, because I guarantee right towards the end you're going to see that guy in blue just singing his own little roller games anthem. Watch it. I'm going to pause it right there. It's the same fucking, and then you're going to see the same, uh, uh, pardon the term because I'm going to use air quotes, slutty, hot girl dancing amongst all the doofuses. And I'll pause on that scene too because I guarantee they're going to happen. Watch it. Roll the roller games. Boom. You can probably see it, but there she is, the slutty girl that they showed last time. Remember the deserts in the deserts of Mississippi? Yeah. Games. Rock, rock, rock and roll again. Rock and roll again. Rock, rock, rock and roll again. All right, guys. How about this? If you buy merch from our t-shirt or from our store, from now on to when the store is closed, all proceeds will be going for us to attempt to buy the Roller Games fucking franchise. Coffin Club Studios plus Candle Cove Media needs to have this asset. I am the CEO and I demand to own this asset. We need to bring this back. So if you can share this if you got it out there and you got a little bit of roller games in your heart and you love being a die-hard American who likes roller games and wants to make America better with roller games and make roller games inclusive for everybody who can enjoy wheeled sports then share this moment of roller games I will go back and I will play it in its entirety with no interruptions and this is my this, we're, we're bringing this back because no moment did America feel as united as they did when David Hasselhoff... Ah, fuck you, Wally, and your fucking chipped-ass tooth. No nation felt more together than they did when David Hasselhoff single-handedly used the power of love and music like Huey and Lewis in the news to tear down the Berlin Wall with his hands and his power of democracy. Then roller games... So we need to. They got the they got the gator in the Mississippi desert. Yes, they did. So help me, your boy, your ambassador of gnarliness, Doctor McNasty. Acquire such a beautiful thing. So please try our store. Buy the Can You Try T-shirt, and help fund the the acquisition of Roller Games. Yowza. And oh yeah, uh, here, here's the theme song one more time. Roll the roller games. One jacket, DC Gatchel.
Roller Games. Here he goes. Rock, rock, rock and roll again. Yes. I know he could. Oh, there's a guy in blue in the corner. Not singing along right. There it is, dude. Yeah, it's a pre recorded. Roller games. The timeless theme to rock and roller games. Second half coming up. Second half coming up. Roller games. Roller games. Back in the Super Roller Dome, the T Birds lead Hot Flash 67 to 54 as the whistle by referee Don Lasker begins the third period. Women skating oh, here the third, goes. The men in the fourth. Only the ones wearing the helmet can score. There are the Jetters. And into the Jetway nice goes way. Gina Valadares. And behind her, another Gina. Gina Gogo Gonzalez. Each gets Go, two go, Gina. Woo. Death, and each gets two over the jump. And then Dude, Gogo I will gladly get Robin Gina to cover the Roller Game song. I'll do it along with him. I don't give a fuck. I love Roller Games. I'm not kidding, dude. If, we can, if I can get enough influence and enough time, I would gladly either bring back Roller Games or Roller Games similar sport. Because I, I don't see why we're not into this. Like, it's, it's inclusive. Anybody can really... They take any body type. Yeah, I need this to happen, too. This is... If Moist Critical can have eSports, why can't Coffin Club, a.k.a. Doc McNasty, have this? Yeah, I've been trying to get her into it. She needs it. I don't know about that, but I think she would enjoy it. She deserves it. Another 45-second scoring cycle starts. This first lap, remember, all they have to do is work their way through the pack. They're not scoring points yet. But I think she hates roller skates. I think she only likes roller blades, but, yeah. There is confusion by Hot Flash. They haven't located a Jenner, and now belatedly they do. It's pretty Patty Frazier who passes Debbie McCorkle. That's a tough break. That's one thing you don't want to do, and that is fall when you come off that jump. Because if you break an axle, it can be a very costly What the fuck? Mistake. She put the helmet on just to That's take it off? It's sport, as you see the Jetters now trying to get their individual points. Skates pretty much in this league run around 400 bucks a piece if you just buy the damn 400 for bucks skates, they cost anywhere from 160 to 200 bucks and if you want to get cute you can run the cost of skates up to a thousand or even two thousand dollars as you see the lady born on an indian reservation in oklahoma debbie mccorkle pull herself up debbie mccorkle on the rail and there's a rare sight. Capture the moment. A well-behaved infield. Very unusual indeed, especially since the team benches These are These poor so girls have been dancing together. all day. Fights break out all the time because, I'll tell you, when they're that close, anything yeah. can happen. In 1990. Are handed off and the new fresh legs I know. 9-11 fucked up a lot of shit. In the black helmet. And skinny mini for the T-Birds in the red helmet. Nice whip, Chuck. There goes skinny mini behind her. Barry, look at him sail. Two points each, and now for the jump. Oh, up high, bow. Oh. Down goes Irish Mary. Skinny Mini, oh. leapfrog, Sly Fox. Another body. Never forget. Detour, Never forget well. roller games. There she goes, Skinny Mini. Boy, she's coming on strong this year. Oh, Second damn, Skinny Mini knocking Mary. shit out. And now a whip. I'm not gonna lie, she's my favorite Jetter, dude. Like, look how fast she is, dude. Oh! She sends Sly Fox a trap. Sly Fox, who mistakenly washed her uniform. Apparently, Skinny Mini gets the most fan mail out of anybody else in the league. Let's take a look at roller motion as Skinny Mini comes off the jump. Look at that tremendous momentum as she comes off that jump. And that gives her the opportunity. She's like a living fucking superhero, dude. Play, the one she's become world famous for. And not only once, but twice. And she, Chuck, is coming on so strong this year that I believe she's going to make the all-star team. And Woo. of course, that big game is coming up in just a few weeks. Well, we talk about the high-tech, hard-body world of roller games. There's the high-tech. This is a really high-tech stream. Monitors for the live house 
Yeah, I agree, dude. This is all a day of work for Skinny Mini, man. They've been doing this shit all night. Feed her to the Gators. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. It's fucked up. Not when my team skates, but now it looks as though Tammy's going to get her big opportunity. I'm so excited that the network is letting me sing during halftime. Um, and I won't have. But you're wearing the same dress you wore last week. To, um, Straight up. Make me upset with my performance. I've really been working at it for a long time, and I'm excited about debuting on Roller Games. And Roller Games is excited. I wonder what happened to Tammy Hansen. And terrific Tammy gets that talent somewhat genetically. Mom used to sing with the platter. Remember that group? That was a triple whip for Electric Randy Whitman, oh. who's still off. No, nobody remembers the platters, except for very, very niche people like myself. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, Minnie. And now Electric Randy resumes the lead. Skinny Minnie really pulling her weight out there tonight. Here comes her teammates, and they're going to get bottled up. All of them. Electric Randy can't get past the pink jerseys. In come the team. What are they doing? What are they planning? Oh. What was that? No way. That was rehearsed. Just your basic kamikaze body block by one of the pencils of the league. 105 pounds, skinny mini. And the crowd likes it, and she applauds them. Those two right there are Damn, she lost 10 pounds since the last fucking stream? Jesus Jennifer Christ. We have reached the end of the third period. Let's go to Shelly Jameson. Ralphie, the curtain may be about to drop on you and the twins. What are you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do right now, but this guru and this Georgia house and scholar has just really been a pain in the, you know what, and I, I don't know, I just feel pretty bad about it. Oh, poor wholesome Ralphie. I don't know. Um, we're going to have to do what they say because that's the rules, but we, we're not happy about it at all in the least. How do you feel? I have to be professional, I guess. It's a very good attitude. Well, I wish I, all three of you Thank the best you very much. Luck. We're going to do something. I don't know what, but we'll, something will happen. But okay, time will tell. We'll hang in there and see what happens to Ralphie and the T-Bird twins. Back to you, Chuck and David. This will create a virus that will never seem to end. Next thing you know, Georgia Haas will have players wearing a mask on the track. Sam's has finally crossed the line. T-Birds lead by 17. They already do wear masks on the track with the Gator Skaters. All right, let's go. Final quarter. Before we begin the fourth period, <laughs> let's look back at Facts. the extremely intense Shelly has no chill. these ladies to become a Roller Games cheerleader. They came from all over Southern California. Supple athletes. And only athletes. Southern California. Over 3,500 young women would compete. Only eight would become cheerleaders for the new age of Roller Games. Well, I think the most important thing about the Why are they showing more is, moves is now than they did actually on the field? Of exuberance and ex vitality and excitement. You know, we're looking for beautiful women, women who can dance. But their job as a cheerleader is to really keep the crowd going and help the crowd keep their energy up and root for their favorite. But they're never team. facing the crowd. They're always facing towards the, the track. Routine. One platoon at a time. These women were broken down into groups of four to perform for a distinguished panel of judges. I'm not feeling roller derby enough. Everybody is very good here. I want to feel the hype. Great looks and great dancers. They're not smiling enough, so I'm not thinking of roller derby. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. With hot flash, 17 points in arrears. Can its men catch the world champion T-Birds in their red, white, and blue? Jenners, as we open up the fourth period, will be... Billy Marshall, there he is in the black. Yeah, they all look like Dan Schneider's like typing buddies. Speedy, one legs it off back. Whoa! So does Billy Marshall on the wall, and they both get two on the jump. Oh, and Billy winds up on Speedy who ricochets off the rail. Then he faces Just the rear block. Poor chubby dad. 
whose nickname is BB Blockbuster. Say that three times. We don't have time to math here with roller games. Now let's check the scoreboard. does get another two points off the wall it was worth the gamble chuck you know i've noticed that the ice box has been a big groggy all night damn dude t-birds are like decimating them though 94 to 79 on the la gear all in all since the season started they haven't lost a game or, yeah they have the t-birds have lost david mentioned that he's nicknamed after butch cassidy and he got that name from his teenage years when for a while in california he was traveling with a pack of stunt riders, horseback stunt riders, and learned a few tricks himself. Let's see if he can now show Why is he in roller games now? He's going to get an atomic whip, as they call it, a double whip. And behind him is Speedy oh, Gonzalez. Oh, boy! He's oh! He actually dangled a leg over Come on, Ralphie. Oh, it's not Ralphie. That's... Oh, oh damn. That hurt. That had to hurt, bro. Remember when they used to be more violent with the oval? No way. They're going to make it. No. A dandy cycle. You don't say. Hey, look, it's Steve from Stranger Things. You know that show everybody was obsessed with in 2021 that nobody fucking shut up about well into 2022? Stranger Things, which was also popular in 2018, and for some reason made the musical stylings of Kate Bush popular even though she's a fucking wackadoo of an artist? Ow. Sorry, I'm stretching. Ah. You know, Stranger Things, which didn't, you know, properly pay their their writing staff or their child actors. Stranger Things. All right, what are we doing? Under 10 seconds in the cycle. A whip from Billy Bob Bibbis, three seconds to. He tries to get around Billy Marshall, but those 21 All right, what's the score? That's not very running up the hill of you. Dude, fuck Kate Bush. Meg Myers did a better version of that song. Whoa! It's time to gator up, boys and ghouls. No, Kate is weird. Most girls named Kate are weird. And Chuck, he has been training especially Gator Skater all season long, and I think he's looking forward to the possibility of that very controversial sudden death overtime. Well, he's looking forward to a victory because Hot Flash hasn't won yet this year, so they're thinking victory number one. But Bushka is a stupid song. Hot Wheels Billy Marshall, but so is the <laughs> T-Bird team. Behind them, stars and stripes, Whoa. Matt Bickham, six points and six points for Bush. Oh, fuck. Come on, you're gonna whip out the gator? He'll try again on Billy Bob Bibbis. And down goes Billy Bob. The Iceman cleans him out. Sorry, I didn't everywhere. mean to cough. Icebox is down. Ralphie Valadares is ahead of Kahuna. Can Billy get around him? Five seconds, four seconds, three. There's two. One. Uh, and that prevents uh. the additional points. However, Billy Marshall and Hot Flash have tied the game with no. on the scoreboard clock for only one final 45 second scoring cycle. Call your friends now because we may be bringing You heard them boys. To finalize this score, we may be going into sudden death overtime. They Billy might. Marshall they might, guys. Fine cycle. He has passed the Jetters helmet to Kahuna. That's right. If you have friends and family who want to see a historical moment at approximately 2.20 a.m. in the morning. 
Call them up right now and tell them, hey, they might bring out the Gators. Woo! Damn, boy! Come on, Ralphie! Yeah! Ralphie is giving it all. <laughs> Damn, Ralphie! Holy shit! I love this man. Number eight is the best, Ralphie Valadares. Yes. Three, two, one. No Gators now. No Gators, boys and girls. To cancel that phone call. Cancel. There ain't no Gator tonight. God damn. That was one hell of a play. So no Gator. Well, let's now go down to the infield and David Sands. Chuck, I'm here with the T-Bird Twins, or maybe I should say the former T-Bird Twins. Now one will go to the Maniacs and one to the Violators. And also with me, the owner of the Los Angeles T-Birds, Bill Griffiths Jr. Bill, what do you have to say about this devastating blow? I'm, I'm, I just don't know what to say, David. The Twins are T-Birds. They're T-Birds through and through. They're red, white, and blue. And, and for the Maniacs and the Violators to wind up with them, I, I, I feel terrible about them. And then the Ralphie thing, it's just like everything's coming down on our head at once. Well, that's incredible. The league says Ralphie's got to hang up his skates, possibly. It's possible, but uh, I'm going to hang in there. I have a feeling we can muster enough votes to make something happen for us. Hey, look. Hey. I'm here for me and Drew's property. Hey. Greg Collin. Hey. Property? Hey. Unbelievable. Hey. We'll keep you posted on this. Yeah, Wendigoon. As they develop. Back to you, Chuck. Well, meanwhile, David, on the track, the skaters haven't given it up. And there's the icebox delivering the deep freeze to Kahuna. Tell me about it. To help Kahuna, but it ain't working. Oh, God. <laughs> Hot flags everywhere. Somewhere under there is the box. Now he's losing his jersey, being ripped off by Juan Valdez Lopez. Chuck from down here, the way I understand it, that man right there, Juan Valdez Lopez, yeah, I don't like the property comment either. For the next month, and the icebox said, I'll show you. Next week, if we clear the track, the maniacs and the violators. See you then. There it is. There it is. All right, let's uh, do the final show breakdown. Wow, that was a lot to unpack. Damn. The twins got... Dude, well, this is better than The Walking Dead. I tell you what, man. Dang old... Fucking broken hearts. Fucking Ralph can't skate no more, man. Damn. Damn. Well, if you are interested in this little mini-series, and if you are interested in my acquisition, feel free to show uh, support and uh, follow, like, do all the stuff that makes you a part of the club. Eh, you know, it's not that hard. You, you, you know. Fully immerse yourself into the culture. Stupid chair. Okay. But anyhow, I, I, I will say that I'm kind of bummed out about this, and I am looking forward to when we do get to air this wonderful segment again. And it will be way, like, I know I say it's like it's going to be a while, but guys, it's going to be like maybe a week or so of a hiatus. Just enough to you know, give us, you know, so we don't get tired of it. That's mainly why we're doing this, so we don't get tired of the roller games, and we just get to enjoy it. As it should be, but what? Whoa, damn, dude, what a fucking cliffhanger, right? But you're probably asking yourself, but Doc, what about your normal streams? Well, as you know, I've been kind of postponing them and doing them a day later. We will still be doing normal streams, don't worry. Uh, I'm not allowed to quit, to be honest. I'm not, you know, we're, we're in it to win it, and as long as there's a Twitch platform, Dr. McNasty will make sure there's weird kids to be who get to watch their weird stuff. But I will say we'll be switching over to newer programming. We'll be going back to our normal bootleg studio programming, such as weird niche TV shows and movies, such as roller games, but not just fucking roller games. We are going to have newer episodes of Beyond Belief Factor Fiction with our boy James Roland, giving him a shot. We're going to be having episodes of Biker Mice from Mars. And, you know, a bunch of fun, weird cartoons that honestly and the reason why we're bringing back biker mice from mars is because well ryan riddles recently just acquired 
Biker Mice from Mars, and what better way to learn than watch the OG shit before it becomes copyright hell. Also, we got other fun niche movies that I would dying to fucking show you, and I can't wait to, and also, keep an eye on YouTube, because yeah, Season 2 wrapped up almost a month ago, but Season 3 is bubbling in the brooks. You know what I mean? Something's cooking up. There's something big a-brewing. But on that note, I am Dr. McNasty. I hope you guys enjoy tonight's show as much as I do. And actually, I do actually enjoy doing this. Even though I know very few people actually do watch it, that's not the point. I actually just enjoy showing you guys things I love. And hopefully, in a weird way, you can learn to love it the same way I do. I'm going to sign off, and you guys be kind to yourselves and others, and, you know, hey, pay it forward. Bye!